Also today, former employees of the Department of Corrections are not happy about how their employment ended with the state, and now they're taking legal action. News 4's Amaya Ward has the story. Nine former employees with the Department of Corrections have begun the legal process of filing a lawsuit against the department. We're disrespected, uh, unappreciated, and um, uh, frankly, uh, mistreated. Dr. Ross Fisher says he was a dedicated employee with the Department of Corrections for nearly 10 years. Then in February, his life got turned upside down. Just completely out of the blue, uh, uh, our chief of operations uh, approached me and said that I was terminated. And there was no cause, no justification or legitimate reason. Before his termination, he was the chief medical officer. This was one of several key positions DOC Director Stephen Harp replaced. There's been several wardens, several deputy wardens, uh, the chief of communications, the uh, uh, chief uh, of uh, human resources. A total of nine tort claims have been filed claiming wrongful terminations. Fisher says it's about making the DOC accountable. There just is no uh, rational justification for uh, uh, the broad terminations of so many people that had dedicated many years. The department says the Office of Management and Enterprise Services now has 90 days to approve or deny relief. The sooner that uh, accountability can be achieved, the better it is for the state. In Oklahoma City, Amaya Ward, Oklahoma's News 4. And Fisher says he had the option to resign instead of being fired, but chose to be fired rather than admitting he had done anything wrong. You'll find DOC's statement on our website, kfor.com.